Hello, welcome back. Uh, welcome back to my channel for the significant other's point of view of DID. Um, she doesn't really feel like being in the camera per se right now. Uh, but she is sitting right next to me, the one with DID, the Dissociative Identity Disorder, also known as Multi Personality Disorder, or I should say, formerly known as. Um, I was going back through some of the comments and uh, questions that were uh, posted on some of my videos and uh, I noticed one of them I haven't uh, done yet that someone asked was for helping what helping during a flashback what do I do when she has a flashback and um, some of the hardest aspects and what I wish I knew when I first met her, uh, first learning about DID. Um, while doing the flashbacks, um, depending on the severity of the flashback, um, I just let her usually do her own thing, uh, keep an eye on her uh, to make sure she doesn't uh, hurt herself or go running off like she has before say go for a two mile run in the middle of winter <laughs> um, yeah she's she's ran off a couple of times but uh, luckily I was able to find her and track her down so she wasn't able to get that far and she didn't get hurt or anything um, but usually if I know it's kind of like a uh, somewhat of a severe, uh, possibly even harmful uh, flashback. Um, like I remember this one time uh, she was having, I almost want to say like continuous or one big flashback. Um, I pretty much had to restrain her to a point. Um, because how I guess wild, uh, all the flaring around, flailing around and, uh, and stuff. So I was trying to make sure that she didn't hurt herself, hurt me or anybody else in the household at that time. Um, it was... A pretty intense one. Um, but yeah, when, when those ones come around when I have to more or less restrain her, I do it very cautiously and carefully so I don't hurt her in the process. Don't don't leave marks type of deal. Because uh, I don't, that's all I need to do is hurt her because that's one of the least things I want to do. Um, I don't want to be adding on to the trauma. Um, so yeah. Um, so it was that aspect for during the flashbacks. Um, oh yeah, a lot, a lot of the times she just will, uh, during, depending on the flashbacks, pretty much hide or go into the corner and just kind of huddle and doesn't want anybody with like in like a 10 foot range of her. Um, so yeah, there's, there's that aspect to it too. And uh, okay, uh, so second question, hardest aspect what you wish, uh, wish you knew when first learning about DID? Um, well, and at least with her, um, I kind of wish we had a better, um, estimization of the numbers, the number of alters that she has, uh, when we actually started sitting down and counting them, coming up to over 500, 600 area, um, for me it was a little overwhelming, a little... A little much, but that doesn't mean I don't 
love her any less or anything. I love every part of you. <laughs> now you're blushing and hiding, huh? Um, so there's that. Um, one of the things I have been working on, I guess, um, is to try to get her to get over, get past the, uh, the trauma. Um, I don't want to, well, both me and her, her therapist, uh, don't want to force her to, to talk about it, to try to get her to get over it that way, uh, because that can be, well, dent detrimental. Um, you know, cause more splits and be re really chaotic. Um, so I've been, for some of the ones that I know that come out and talk to me, um, I try to let them know that they can talk to me about whatever, um, they, that they can trust me. And I hope that one day here, preferably sooner than later, um, should be more willing and comfortable about talking about that and trying to finally start the process of putting all that behind her and uh, realizing it's not <laughs> not her fault. What, you don't want me to, to poke you or anything? No? You don't want to be touched right now? Well, you don't want to be in the camera at all. <laughs> Depending which way you go, you're going to be in the camera. <laughs> she, she's putting on some makeup. No! <laughs> okay, um... But is there anything else that I wish I knew? Um... Um, I guess that was like the biggest thing that I kind of wish I knew ahead of time. Um, but does that change anything for me? No. Um, I'm still trying to care for her, love her, and help her become stronger. And... I don't want to make her whole as in like one personality, one alter. No. no. I, I would like to maybe cut, shave off a few of the uh, the numbers. But uh, that's not necessarily one of my goals. Um, it would be nice to see happen like the one integration that did happen. And uh, the other integration that I wasn't, uh, wasn't a part of. Um, I was just told about it. Um, so yeah, none, none of that changes anything. It's okay if you make noise. <laughs> they, they know you're here. Um. I'm the ghost. Just, you're a ghost, too. <laughs> um. But, uh, I think I'll wrap it up there. Um, I, I try not to make the videos too long. Um, I've also been trying to somewhat cut them down because I've noticed I've gotten a little lengthy in some of my videos. I, I do apologize about that. Um, but if you think this is helpful, uh, if you like it, like some of the humor that uh, her Tret sy Syndrome condition likes to pipe up every now and then, um, hit the like, uh, subscribe and everything. Uh... Was that comments are you writing? Yeah, like like I said before, leave any questions, any possible ideas that you want to see come forward uh, for another video. Um, we we've been getting a little better at uh, setting up a schedule again um, since the holidays are behind us and stuff. So getting that back on track. So we'll see you later. Talk to you. Bye.